Hi, welcome to the syllabus orientation for ESOL 6003 Methods and Instructional Materials for the English Language Learner. I'm Ramona Stowe and I will be your instructor this summer, so I'm glad to have all three of you in this course. Um, but I do want you to take a few minutes to read over the syllabus in its entirety. I'll just do a quick introduction now and then you can read it at your leisure. First, you'll see my contact information. Um, as I mentioned in the email, I'll be out of the country May 19th through June 9th. And so if you need to get a hold of me, email is probably the best way to do so. And I will be checking that periodically. Um, you'll see the course description. Basically, we're going to be uh, looking at theory and practical application and really learning about the issues that affect our English language learners um, different ways to approach instruction and so on. You should already have your textbook, but if not, the information is right there at the bottom of the page. Then the course objectives, make sure that you take a minute to read through all the course objectives. And as you do, you'll see that we really are focusing on, again, the theory um, and the practical application of things that you'll need to, to know to better educate our English language learners. You'll see our um, School of Education goals, and they're the same goals whether you're taking a, a graduate level course or an undergrad course. Um, these are the things that we want you to leave MNU with. Then the course requirements, the first thing I want to talk about and make sure that you understand is attendance and participation. And you might be thinking, but this is an online course. Well, in an online course, attendance means making sure that you complete all the things in the lesson, making sure you contribute to the forums in a timely manner, which by the way, the forums, your initial post is due by Thursday, and then responding to others is due by the Sunday of the week. Each week, the course, the, the week module will be open by six in the morning on Monday morning. And so you'll want to get on probably three or four times a week and look through things and complete things and so forth. And that is 20% of your grade. So make sure that you are on time on everything so you get the full uh, points for that. Then we have our assignments. Um, philosophy of teaching English learners comes up right away. So you'll want to get started on that. You've probably done a philosophy of teaching paper already, but specifically, how do you think it is best to teach our English learners? What are your beliefs about that? And so you'll have a rough draft due the first week, and then by the end of the course, you'll have your final draft. Then we go to the Common Core and English learners, and I know you all know about the Common Core, but how do we make sure that our English learners at each stage of proficiency are successful in obtaining those same high grade level expectations? How do we scaffold for them? And so you'll take some time to learn about um, how you might scaffold and make the, everybody successful in your classroom. Um, next, you'll choose an author um, that is that is really prevalent in the field and let us know about that author. Um, then you have the collaborative research paper. Since there are three of you in the course, you can all just work together on the collaborative research paper and you'll pick a topic that's of interest about English learners um, that all of you are interested in and do some research, do a literature review on um, more information about that topic. And if you continue on with the master's program, then you will take uh, two action research courses, and this can kind of be the springboard for those courses. So think about a problem that you might want to find out more information about. Then you have the language proficiency case study, and this is where you will find an English language learner, um, interview the student, or it could be an adult, um, and looking at what are the stages, what stage of language development is he or she in? Um, how would you instruct that student knowing this information? Uh, what theories do you think are really prevalent in that student learning English? Um, and it's just really a chance to get to know an English learner uh, in a more academic way. Then you'll do a PSYOP lesson plan, and I'm sure you all have written lesson plans. Uh, this is not as extensive as your MNU lesson plan, but it gives you a chance to think more about the language aspect of it. And then finally, at the end of the course, you'll do a TESOL standards reflection paper. And TESOL is teachers 
of English to Speakers of Other Languages, and it's our overarching organization that um, a lot, it's our professional membership organization. And if you're not a member of it, you may want to go ahead and join. There's a rate for students, and it's a lot cheaper than practicing teachers. So you might want to go ahead and, and um, join that. There's a lot of good professional development and information and so forth in that. Um, but there are different uh, standards that we need to meet. And so we'll look at this course, Domain 3, Planning, Implementing, and Managing Instruction. And you'll show how you will um, address this in your future classroom. And you'll describe it, you'll analyze, and you're reflecting on it. So, of course, all the assignments, there will be more information in Moodle, but this is just a quick overview. In the syllabus, also, we have the class schedule and, ass and assignments. And for each week, you can see there, um, there's the topic, there's our objectives, there's our reading, and there's our um, form questions and our assignments. And you can see that is done week by week. And again, this is just an overview, but each week in Moodle, there'll be much more information um, and much more in-depth uh, explanations and so forth. And you can see here a list of the major assignments and when they're due, uh, the percentage that they're worth for your grade, um, and then you can see the scoring criteria. Then we get down to the course policy guidelines and support. Um, the two things that I really want to highlight here is the honesty policy. And again, I'm sure you're all very honest people, but I highlight this because a lot of times we inadvertently plagiarize. That means we're not citing um, the people that we're taking the information from. And so make sure that you cite the people um, and give them credit for their work. And then the other thing that I want to highlight is the late work policy. It is 10% off each day that an assignment is late. So I always tell students, just get everything in on time so you don't have to worry about that at all. Um, and if you do have some emergency, um, please let me know and I can work with you on that too. If there's some reason that you may have to turn in an assignment late, let me know that. Okay, um, you all know about the Navy Learning Commons. It's a great system, so make sure even though you're online, it can still be a lot of help to you. Uh, also, Task Stream, you'll turn in your collaborative research paper and Task Stream, so make sure that's done. Um, we have a course evalu evaluation at the end, and I really do want to encourage you to uh, fill out the evaluation and let me know what went well, what could go better, and that sort of thing. And then finally, you're becoming professional educators. So we have the Kansas Educator Code of Conduct. So that's just a quick overview of this syllabus. Again, make sure that you read it in its entirety so there are no um, surprises and you know what to expect. Each week, you'll want to get on Moodle for more information. All right, thank you so much for listening.